Let me tell you a story about Amazon. In 1994, I started Amazon. All of the heavy lifting infrastructure needed for Amazon to exist was already in place. We did not have to build a transportation system to deliver packages. It existed already. If we had had to build that, it would have been billions of dollars in capital. But it was, it was there. It was called the US Postal Service and Deutsche Post, and Royal Mail, and UPS, and FedEx. We got to stand on top of that infrastructure. The same thing with payment system. Did we have to invent a payment system and roll that out? That would have been billions of dollars in many decades. But no, it already existed. It was called the credit card. Did we have to deploy computers? No, they were already in most homes, mostly to play games, but they were there. That infrastructure already existed. Did we have to build a telecom network? That would have been billions of dollars. But we didn't. It was in place mostly to make long distance phone calls and built by global telecom carriers like AT&T and their equivalents around the world. Infrastructure lets entrepreneurs do amazing things. So the kids here and your children and their grandchildren, you're gonna build those O'Neill colonies. We're gonna build a road to space. And then amazing things will happen. Then you'll see entrepreneurial creativity. Then you'll have space entrepreneurs start a company in their dorm room. That can't happen today.